Hi everyone, my name is Tiffany. I am the founder of 2B2Go, um, a nonprofit organization out of Canada adapting backpacks for kids to tube feed on the go. Uh, my son became a tube feeder himself in April of 2019. And being an engineer by trade, um, I definitely like to understand how things work, uh, find more efficient processes, and figure out hacks for how to do things better. Um, so I thought I'd create a series of videos under 2 be to go um, to help other parents out there understand a little bit better some of the hacks that I've seen. Um, for example, one of them is about the infinity feed bags and how to manually prime the bags. I see all the time people being amazed how um, they figured out that you can press on the little teardrop and get it to prime way faster than you would using the pump to prime. Um, but I also see a lot of people leave comments that they've tried this and for whatever reason they can't seem to make it work. So I just thought I'd take a minute to show you exactly what it is that you're trying to accomplish when you're doing the manual prime um, to see if that helps anybody uh, figure out any issues that they may be having not getting it to work properly. Okay, so here I have a 500 mil infinity feed bag. Uh, cartridge is the same whether it's a 500 or the 1000 milliliter bags. Um, so you've probably seen in other people's posts for the hacks talking about how you want to pinch this teardrop um, part of the cartridge. Let me just try to make it a little bit more focused. So see how there's a teardrop right here on the cartridge? So underneath that teardrop is a piece of plastic that we want to pinch in order to allow the uh, liquid to flow from the top tubing all the way around and let it through to the bottom tubing. <clears throat> so normally what you would do is you would hold your fingers, your index finger and your thumb on um, this part of the cartridge and you would squeeze the feed bag at the same time. So see how the liquid is, tried to dye it dark enough so that you could see, but it's gonna flow through as you're squeezing. So what I wanted to show was the part that you're actually squeezing is probably why some people have issues getting the liquid to flow through. They say that they're doing, they're pinching that teardrop portion and it's not going through. So what you're actually trying to do is pinch this piece of the plastic that's underneath. Let me see if I can just get this. Okay, so see this little tip here? If you look at the end that my index finger is touching right now, it is closed. So when you have this piece of blue on top and you have the liquid flowing through around the cartridge it's going to flow directly into this little tip which does not have a hole on the end so the liquid is going to get stopped by this tip what you're trying to do when you pinch these two pieces so if i move this blue plastic away and simulate what i'm doing when the plastic is actually there is i'm pressing on this little tip to maneuver it away so that it actually allows the liquid to flow through the hole that is at the bottom of this piece. So if you check out your cartridge as you take it apart very closely, you'll see that there's a little hole at the bottom. So what you're trying to do is pinch this little piece of plastic and lift it up so that the liquid has access into that hole at the bottom and then it can continue to flow through into the rest of the tubing to get to your feed extension. Okay, so when people are doing blenderized feeds or are trying to get thicker feeds through the cartridge, it won't physically fit properly into this tiny little hole and that's why um, the hack for that is talking about snipping off this little piece 
so that it allows for a big hole. Um, so I'll show you on a different one. This one I've modified for a blenderized feed because my son takes real food blends. So I've broken that piece off. So see how that little tip is no longer there? And now there's a fairly decent sized hole that the liquid can flow right into. Okay, so you no longer have to pinch that piece. It'll automatically flow just by gravity um, into the bottom tubing here. <clears throat> so again, when you don't break off that piece, to manually prime through the cartridge, you're trying to push this little tip up so that the liquid can flow through the hole right there that's at the bottom of this little tip piece okay so once that piece of rubber is back on stops the liquid from flowing out but what you're doing is you're squeezing you're squeezing these two pieces well, really only you need the bottom, but you're going to hold it against something. When you <clears throat> squeeze these two and pinch the bag at the same time, it's going to flow through. Okay. That's how you can manually prime it much faster than if you were to use the pump to prime. <clears throat> 